Hello YouTube, welcome back over to Gaming House. For this video I recommend keeping on annotations because my skills with editing are, well, nothing. So I'm going to be using annotations to help illustrate points and everything else uh, and keep those on. And we're going to go ahead and get into talking about the Rainbow Six Siege Season Pass as well as the Operators. The first bit of news unfortunately is that the first DLC titled Operation Black Ice is being delayed until February 2nd for Season Pass holders. So if you're not holding Season Pass, therefore you will be getting the Operation Black Ice February 9th, a week later. Now drawing attention obviously to the image that's been on the screen, this is their year one plan for Rainbow Six Siege. The first section is obviously for Operation Black Ice, but another thing to note with these seasons is the flags attached to them that is going to symbolize the nationality of the operators that are going to be coming. The first ones being from Canada, more than likely going to be Joint Task Force, or there was another one, CAF, uh, there was something, there was a, someone mentioned it in a comment to something else that I had mentioned before. But then the next flag here we have the Americans, followed by the third season being what we believe is Brazil, and then the last one being Japan. This sex image here is one of the various ones around the internet and also used to be on the homepage for, or the main menu of Rainbow Six Siege. Now this has all operators that are coming to DLC pretty much outlined in their little silhouettes. And the first forward ones here are obviously the Canadians which we talked a little bit about earlier, being either Joint Task Force or Canadian Armed Forces or whatever it was. Either way, they're from Canada. Now the rest of the course is left up to speculation. When we were bullshitting in the main menu, waiting for our friends to get online, we speculated on what the next operators would be, and just going off of the little triangle they kind of form, the next two operators behind the Canadians, we theorized, are the American forces that will be added, most likely going to be in military origin, going off the gear wear that they're wearing. Probably SEALs or MARSAC. I'm going to side with SEALs just because in the Rainbow lore, when Rainbow first started, it was comprised of SEALs, SAS, and a few other guys from the random branches around the world. The next two that we are looking at are probably from Brazil. I know next to nothing about what Brazil has. I'm guessing they're part of their police force or the paramilitary forces that they use down there. And the ones in the back that are just kind of chilling there, we are guessing are going to be from Japan. And those guys are going to be either from the Japanese Defense Force or possibly, again, also another uh, police force entity from Japan. The last quick thing to talk about is abilities, and abilities are anyone's guess other than the one clear hint that we have is the first one on the right, the Canadian, has a M4 variant with a underslung shotgun. And whether or not he is going to have a bunch of underslung attachments or whether it's just a shotgun attachment, either way that is still an interesting ability to have, to have a close range shotgun while also having the range of an assault rifle at his disposal. So that'll do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. And you're welcome to come back over to Gaming House for more gameplay and commentary.